Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Rusty Beauties Stories. We are restoring the 1966 GT6 here. We've done pretty good progress in the last few episodes and now that we have the momentum, let's keep going. So very briefly, I'm gonna let you know what we've done in the last few episodes. We repaired the bottom of the A post and a little bit of the bulkhead there. That was totally gone, but we rebuilt it from scratch. In the last episode, we got rid of the seal. I mean, the inner seal and the strengthener panel that was here, whatever was left of them. So we got rid of everything now. And we revealed this edge of the floor, which was also rotten. So we replaced it. We fixed a little corner here inside of the floor as well. We made a channel and we also stripped this corner got rid of all the rust that was there and now we are back to solid metal well we still have to cut a little bit more rust but i'm keeping it there for reference for now we're gonna cut it later so without further ado let's get crack locking Okay, so this is the corner that I'm talking about. This is the channel that we made in the last episode. So the floor now is totally finished. We just need to trim that end to this level, to the old floor. And then we have to start repairing here this uh, cross member, which you can see it is gone here. And that's the first panel that we have to replace because it's buried under everything else but in the meantime we need something to reference it to in order to replace this we need reference from this piece which we need to rebuild to go down because it doesn't go vertically down this seam here goes down vertically up to here and then from here it makes a turn and goes a little bit diagonally and meets this flange here. So in order to make this, we need this, but in order to make this, we need this. So it is a catch-22, right? <laughs> so in order to break apart this catch-22, we're gonna make this panel for here, but we're not gonna weld it, we're just gonna have it here ready, and then based on this patch, we can make this one. Also, I need to make the one for here, the bottom of the A post, uh, so we're gonna make the, this panel as well, but we're not gonna weld it. And only when we have these two patches ready, we're gonna cut this off and we're gonna make the repair patch for this one based on the two other ones that we should already have made. However, to make this, we need to get rid of a little bit here. You see there's a overlapped metal here. I want to get rid of this overlapped metal so I can fit my other patches perfectly but this is so flimsy it's gonna break apart if I start grinding here so what I think I'm gonna make a little brace for now just temporarily from here to here somewhere to make this more sturdy and then I can grind the leftovers of whatever this panel is and then we can make this one and this one to match this one. I hope that makes sense. Okay, I cleaned this up a little bit. Um, actually, there were three layers of metal here. This is the cross member, then this is the extension of this piece that just wraps around. And then there was the extension of this going down and overlapping with the other two. So if I take this piece out, I'm gonna lose everything. So anyways, I found this template that I made for the other side. And good thing I kept it because Surprisingly, it fits here too. So that's how it goes. And I think I'm gonna make it out of metal now. And it's a little bit too long here. So this we're gonna use as a flange here to go around. And then we're gonna make this a separate piece, this flange, because I can't make a U, it's gonna be hard. Uh, yeah, so let me make this out of metal and we might even cut this. I'm thinking I'm gonna cut this off now because like here on the line and then straight to the deck here because it's on my way. And since I have this pattern, I don't need it anymore.
All right, so this patch is ready. We can clamp it somehow here and make the one for the inside. Okay, and this one is pretty simple. It is flat piece that ends here, but it has like the one over there that we made. It has a triangle that is formed by this bend and this bend here, you see? It comes this way and they meet somewhere here and here at the bottom it's flat. Let me make it out of paper maybe and you will see what I mean. Something like this, you see? Two bends. Actually it needs another bend here that for, for this, where this curve happens. So it's gonna be a little bit more complicated than what I just said, but not too complicated, you see? And we need to make something about this hole. I, ha I don't have a dimple die, so, but I wanna make it nice. We will see. <laughs> That's tricky. Okay, so anyways, this matches. This matches. This is a little bit high. Here we need to bring it down or in. Get rid of all this so uh, with the shrinker I'm able to shrink here. I need to shrink here more so it can go down. Wow, I need to shrink up a lot here. This doesn't work. <laughs> I went even and stretched it on the English wheel. You see like all kinds of angles and stuff and it still just doesn't work. So I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'm gonna start from scratch because I realized that I, I am making a mistake here. And this corner here I thought it was coming all the way down and then there was another one coming here for whatever reason. No, that's not true. This is coming down to here and then from here it needs to bend this way because this piece needs to come out. So let me show you on the template. So you see if we do this, it bends down to the center, which we had before, but from there it continues this way and then things are gonna work better but that's how it works Alin. you had it upside down and here of course we need this line to bend like this but yeah anyways so i made this new piece that we're gonna start again and if we say again this is our center this is where our bend goes but then we have another bend in this direction and this is, I marked where this bend needs to be. So, let's see if that's gonna work. bending this and this this naturally tries to bend where I need it to bend <laughs> <laughs> like this what is so hard about it then and now here at the end only we're gonna have to bend just a little flange but first I'm gonna test it and then we're gonna see if it fits well 
Okay. Now we need to cut just a little bit here, like this and like this. Okay. So now you see why I trimmed it a little bit here and there because it makes a little angle here so now we can start trimming it because i don't want to go as big as this piece i'm gonna cut it here so somewhere here it's going this way it's going this way and then this way across here I just hope I don't cut it too short. Okay. From here it goes down. And we're gonna cut it like this. It's hard to film and work here in this tight corner. Okay, that's pretty close, so... I think we're gonna leave it as it is and we're gonna clean up these edges here and we're gonna cut the car to match this because it's hard to cut this to match the car. I also marked this where the dimple hole goes so we're gonna have to make that and also like I said this flange here we need to make a little flange we're gonna bend it just a little bit Okay, I'm gonna drill this hole and then we'll see how we can make the flanges around it. Okay, I'll try something stupid. Please don't laugh at me. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But it is worth trying. Too bad, actually. It's not too bad, right? But I think I'm gonna run a bigger socket now. So this is 19 mil. Okay, let's try with this one. So. It could have been better, but it is what it is. I think from here now I can do it with my parallel draw pliers. I'm happy with it, it looks pretty smooth, so, okay, okay, it even matches the old hole, you see, wow, surprise, okay, so I marked where to cut this one now, I'm gonna cut it, and here I'm gonna go all the way, it's gonna be easier, okay, so this fits pretty well here, this fits pretty well as well. So now we can start working on this cross member and we can make flanges to finish right here, right? However, I can see inside there more rust. And this is the wall of the deck that is also rusted a little bit higher than what I cut it. So we're gonna have to cut even higher. Oh. All right, so I cut a little bit higher here 
and further in so now we are back to solid metal so i'm just gonna rust convert it and paint this and this i guess this flange and everywhere and inside this tube uh, as far as i can reach i'm gonna rust convert and uh, paint and then we can start putting par parts back i'm gonna have to make another patch now for here for the this is the front of the deck right so we're gonna make patch for here we're gonna make this here we have to make a little patch for here for this corner and then we can put this piece and then we can put this piece and then we can put this piece so i'm gonna make a few patches here that are simple i'm not gonna bother you with them and i'll bring you back all right so i made this patch with two flanges to come here and i can actually weld this one in place and then we can make this one for for this tube all right so the deck wall is repaired and now i can put together the patches that i made already and figure out this one something like this and I made this template out of cardboard so that's what it is you fold it like origami and and it more or less closes this thing here and there's a flange underneath and there's a flange here and even there's a flange inside going up which we will try to weld from inside when we remove all these parts so let me make it out of metal bit adjustment okay obviously it needs a little bit more adjustment I'm gonna keep playing with it and I'm gonna bring you when I'm done okay I tweaked it a little bit more and I think we are pretty good now and this is my other piece right so this is this piece goes in between the two so we're pretty good these flanges need to weld to this this flange underneath needs to weld to this so i'm gonna take these out and i'm gonna weld this here first of course i'm gonna paint it and uh, then we're gonna start assembling oh we need to repair this corner as well ah. all right it's welded and painted like it's not bad so now I don't know whether we should repair this little corner or no actually we're gonna repair that when we have the other two walls so let me weld this one and I'll bring you back again all right so it is uh, welded and ground down and this flange here matches pretty well, so I think we can spot weld it here. We have access on both sides. Okay, so I painted the flange here and I painted this part of the whole thing that is going to be hidden here 
and now this matches pretty well too and once we weld it there we're gonna go and do the same thing we're gonna we will see if that's gonna work spot weld through three different layers but if it doesn't work we can just weld it here in few spots and that's it but we can weld it in now and we can also spot weld it here this flange to this Oh my god, the paint is still dry, still wet. Cool, so we installed this as well. We spot welded it here, we spot welded it here. It stayed, so looked good. So now we just have to paint it and then we can close this hole here. But before we close the hole, we're gonna weld this huge patch that <laughs> that i made for here it's small but complicated don't get tricked by the size <laughs> look it has three different flanges in three different directions <laughs> but it fits well so that's how it goes but you see the problem here it this flange this little flange goes over the extension of this flange so first we need to have this piece installed there so we can weld this one but if we do that i'm not gonna be able to weld this flange here which is not a big deal but i'd like to weld it so even this little patch here is a catch-22 so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna weld it as it is and i'm gonna leave just i left already a little gap here so i can put this flange inside later so i'm gonna paint the back and i'm gonna weld it and i'll call you back okay the rest i'm gonna do when uh when i weld the other one on the outside all right so the last patch is made for here well actually there's one more, I don't know if you see it, but we have to extend this lip all the way down. But anyways, oh my God, I opened the door and there's already mosquitoes here. Oh my God, they're gonna kill me in the summer and bikes are already out. <laughs> one warm day, it was 16 degrees Celsius today and the bikes and the mosquitoes are out. <laughs> you hear that? Crazy. Anyway, so these patches, pretty simple I didn't involve you in the making of it I just needed to over bend it a little bit here because it turns out this is a fourth layer here this metal we have the one on the outside we have this flange from the cross member and now this flange also overlaps with this that's crazy how they made those cars but anyway so I'm just gonna paint it inside and I'm gonna weld it as you can imagine it is uh, tight here for all of us so oops, so I'm just gonna bring you when it's done oh I just need to make also a few holes here to plug weld it to, to this flange because I can't squeeze the spot welder there uh, and of course we can measure the distance from the cut to the center of this flange for the spot welds but much easier way is just to mark the center of the flange on both sides Then put our patch and run a straight line from here to here and all our holes need to be on this line all right so this is welded and it's eh, it's gonna need some body filler didn't do a great job welding it here i mean i did my normal type of job <laughs> And inside I welded this little corner, so we are ready with that. And now, and now the last thing for here is uh, we need to extend this. You see how this is missing the lip here from here down because it was rotten. So I made a new lip. It's basically a piece of angle and I bent it on the shrinker stretcher and we're going to weld it because 
Remember how we made this piece with the flange coming this way, but I said that I can't make a U because there needs to be another flange going that way. So we made two L's or we made an L and a J and now we're gonna join them into a U. <laughs> if we want to be literal. So this is rebuilt as well and it's painted and we're ready with this can of worms. So now, whenever we want, when the time comes, we can just put this on top. How does it go? Like that. We need to drill holes here for plug welds, but it matches perfectly here. We can spot weld. Here we're gonna cut it to this level and I'm guessing we're gonna butt weld it to this. But for now, I just have it overlapped so I can put clickers here and hold it in place. But for now, I don't need it there. I just painted it so it needs to dry. And yeah, we are done with this complicated repair. And that, guys, I think is a good spot where we can end this video and start another one. And how about for a change, we have a different angle for that. Because I'm sick and tired of shooting endings and beginnings of my video from that side. <laughs> now that I can open the garage door, we can uh, have a different angle for a change, right? So as you guessed, that's going to be the end of this video. And um, in the next one, I'm excited because we're going to start building the inner seal and the strengthener and try to finish the door jam again um, and then it's going to be just the door and a little bit of touch-ups and we're going to be done with this side as well that was much faster than the other side wasn't it <laughs> well i'm talking in past tense for something that's still in the future so let me not jump ahead of myself uh, anyway stay tuned for the next episode and we will see what we're going to do in it, in it but for now i just want to say thank you again for uh, being here guys for keeping me company in the garage so I don't feel lonely thank you for watching my videos thank you for sharing them all over the world it's amazing that I have viewers from really the entire world I have that option on YouTube to see where are my videos watched and I see people from all over the world so thank you guys I know that many of you are already supporting me on patreon which is fantastic thank you so much guys but for those of you who are not but consider becoming patreons there's a link in the description of this video which is going to take you to my patreon page and there you can see three different options how to become a patreon or if you are just uh, considering making a small donation that's also very well appreciated you can send me a paypal transfer or e-transfer if you're in canada to elin.yakov at rustybeauties.com but you don't need to do any of that in order to have access to all my videos and all my content. There's no such thing as early access here. There's no such thing as VIP content. Everybody has the same um, benefits, whether they support the channel on Patreon or not. So if you can't afford it or if you don't feel like it, it's up to you. The only reason why you would decide to support me financially would be because you feel like saying thank you for the videos because you learn something from them or just get entertained by them it's up to you guys so so once again guys thank you and i'll see you in the next one bye rusty rusty what's going on buddy what's going on give me that bone Give me the bone. Give it. Give me the bone. Give it. <laughs>